Apis Core Construction has always been a complex and time-consuming process, but as technology advances, this has changed. The construction of new buildings using 3D printing is one of the most popular processes on the market today. The novelty of this industry is mobile printing. The Apis Core 3D mobile printer prints while inside the building under construction. It is a rotating arm with a single point coverage area of 132 square meters. The device is small in size, easy to transport and requires no preparation time before construction. The installation and configuration of the Apis Core requires no more than 30 minutes. The dimensions of the printer are quite compact and reach 4 by 1.6 by 1.5 meters. The innovative machine weighs 2 tons, making it possible to use standard special equipment for transport. Another distinctive feature is the number of people needed to work with Apis Core. Two trained workers can fully control the entire process, including the material flow. For the printing of the construction, fiber concrete, a kind of cement concrete, is used. In this way, the material is dispensed and applied layer by layer, reducing the possibility of construction waste to zero. Helicopter Tree Trimming The unique technology of helicopter tree trimming seems almost fantastic, but it is used in reality. To carry out this process, a special circular saw blade is used, consisting of steel blades fixed one below the other. The device is powered by a common diesel engine. When the saw is lifted out of the air, the helicopter is floating in the air above the trees and moving in a straight line, cutting off the branches. This work requires the precision of every movement, as it's necessary to control not only the helicopter, but also the cutting mechanism. This method of trimming is mainly used near power lines to avoid contact of branches with cables and subsequent accidents. Amazon Prime Air Amazon began using small drones to send small purchases to customers in the UK in 2016. And this can be considered a major breakthrough in the use of drones. At the moment, the drones deliver purchases weighing up to 2.3 kilograms, and they do so in half an hour. Amazon's standard flying messenger service is a helicopter with eight propellers and a computerized control system that's installed in the center and top of the frame. The maximum flight altitude for the drones developed by the company is 120 meters. The speed of the device in the air reaches 80 kilometers per hour, but the design and features continue to improve. The so-called drone tower is also being actively developed from where the drones will fly with the orders and then return. Tesla The American company Tesla, world famous for its electric vehicles, was founded in 2003 and was named after the father of electrical engineering, the physicist Nikola Tesla. To date, Tesla has successfully produced four models of electric passenger cars. The T Roadster, the Model S, the Model X and the Model 3. In addition, on November 16, 2017, Tesla introduced the Tesla Semi-Electric Tractor, which will be launched in 2019. According to the creator's idea, electric cars must completely replace the internal combustion engine and impart to humanity the desire to advance green transportation. Despite significant deficiencies in some cars, criticism and loss of production, the company is still existing and announcing new models of electric cars. Waymo Waymo, 
Part of Alphabet Holding specializes in the development of autonomous driving technologies. Waymo systems use information collected by the Google Street View service, a video camera, a LiDAR sensor mounted on the roof, a radar in the front of the car, and a sensor connected to one of the rear wheels that helps determine the position of the car on the map. It's also worth noting the devices for detecting flashing lights in emergency vehicles. At the end of May 2014, a completely autonomous car without a steering wheel or pedals was presented. To date, Waymo cars have exceeded more than 8 million kilometers during testing and on public roads. Among the disadvantages of these vehicles are the difficulties with parking, the recognition of urban waste, as well as the impossibility of moving under heavy rainfall and in snowy terrain. The company plans to complete the cars by 2020.